Go for it. Good afternoon, welcome back to SG, SGGT. We're going to look at some wedge fitness afternoon, as we said, we're going to do this morning. Talk you through how we would do a wedge fitting and why we would do it. Um, last year I was lucky enough to go out to California with Tyler's the TPI and look at what they do and how they do it and spend a bit of time with Bob Woken as a real eye opener as to how you would fit wedges in relation to what I've done before. And I said what we've done before was good, but I think even simple common sense things make it so much easier and make it easier to understand for not only myself but the golfer. Um, today we're going to use just bulky wedges just to simplify it for today. Um, so we carry kind of all the Cleveland, Mizuno. Um, so the purpose of today, we're going to go through tightless wedges or rocks. Um, so first of all, what I'm going to do, I'm going to work back from the green with Ross. So initially, once upon a time, you know what, it's important to gap and we will look through that at some point, but let's start at the green, let's start with the problem shots and where they arise and work back the way. I think Bokey's thing was your average tour pro hits 12 greens in regulation. So when you work back from that, most of the time when they miss that green, it's going to be the long wedge. Um, so it's can we get a club that's efficient for when you miss that green and then we'll work our way back into the rest of the set from there. So we're going to try a log wedge with Ross, we're going to do it blind. Uh, I think it's always important that the customer can't see what he's using initially. So we use some log wedges initially and all we're going to do is let Ross feel the different grinds. We're going to have three or four shots with each and we're going to work out is one better than the last one. All right. Thanks Scott. Picks up to the yellow flag at 25 yards. No, don't look at all, mate, right? Okay, okay. 25 yards away. Let's have a look and let's see what it does. Hit four or five and then I'll swap you over. Okay, okay. 25. That's a red flag, Ross. <laughs> well, again. Couple more. Couple more. Yeah, okay. Okay, so let's walk. That felt quite... So first wedge in question was here. Okay, jumpy actually. Okay. The interaction between the club and the ground felt as if the club was looking to jump up. Okay. Ooh. Second groove right there. Okay. Straight there, I feel a lot nicer. Okay, you feel like you can actually get it. Yeah, I feel really good. Okay, one more for me. Okay, a lot of a blow in the face, but wow. Okay, yeah. So let's swap again. Thank you. So, second wedge in question when we're here. Yeah. So it's interesting spending time out in the States with Bob and the way that he looked at it and different things that, that he would do through wedge fitting. And I think a lot of it is, it's a scientific approach, of course there is with everything, but it's can we try the soul? And very much it was, we were all asked when we were over there, what, what soul we thought was going to work for us? And I think it's not until you actually strip it back and try the other ones without knowing what they are, that you think, oh, well, that maybe actually feels quite good. And for most people there's going to be they aren't necessarily the two that are the same thing. Quite often it's something very, very different. And again, from there it's, can we play a different shot and can we hit a few off the grass and how does it feel in the actual turf yeah. from there, all right? Better watch the last one. Second 
very embarrassing. Okay, all the clumsy are kind of here. Yeah. Okay. Straight up here. That's probably my least. I'm going to give you some shots outside to the same flag. Yeah. Because we get half a dozen shots, let's play a higher one or a lower one, whatever yeah. it is. And I want you to play them as it lies. Yeah. Okay, so Pretty it's winter as a tea is maybe not amazing, or as it like it can be. I'll just pick some to the reds number two for you. Thank you. Hey, good luck. You're right. Saturday night, Scott, what's that all about? For the same flag. So that's it, don't change technique, don't try and dig it out. We get the wedge right, it should come out for you. Good. I did not expect that. So that's it, if you get the grind right, you should be able to play out any line. You shouldn't yeah, have yeah. to adjust technique. Sorry, I'll put that back to that. Aye, definitely. That. Okay, that's not, that's just not pretty. Ah. Again, okay. So you get that so correct, it should pick it up out the bad lies. Because I think if you've got a wedge that is based on only playing out with good lies, as soon as you're faced with that bad lie, you don't know what to do with yourself. Okay, we're going to get the odd bad one. Okay, let's have a swap over, alright? Let's go three and three. I'm going to get uh, three to there and then we'll go to the slightly longer flag. Same concept, keep it the same. It wasn't going to be heavy anyway, that was for sure. Okay. Right. <laughs> I didn't feel bad, just the club wanted to come underneath the ah. ball. Blame the club, not the, not the ball. Uh, the oh, Aye, but I was so conscious to try to hit the back of the ball there. Okay, right, so to have a look at them both together, right? So what I've got is grind's very similar and that we're shaved off, then there's a lot lower bounce in wedge number four. So in terms of when Ross is striking, he's find it very difficult is if the distance is very hard to control. Whereas with the second wedge, because there's a little bit extra bounce on it, he's able to kind of find the same bit of the face every time, so distance control becomes that little bit easier for him. All right. What do we I'm still not looking at any bounces. Obviously, I know the lofts are, but not the bounces yeah. are right there. I'm kind of wanting most loft, but still being able to kind of knock it down if I need to. And what shots would you offer? You stop preferring that lie as well when you're at it. <laughs> Aye, 60 degree bunker shots, obviously over bunker, uh, over kind of any danger, around about the greens. Okay. Um, and maybe kind of 50, 60 yard kind of pitch shots as well. Okay. Right, next one, the yellow flag, okay, so you can see it sets up that ridge. I want you to treat the yellow flag just in front of you with the tyre. Yeah, so let's treat the flag as the back of the green. Yeah. But let's treat the front of that ridge as to be a little bit higher, landing a little bit softer. Okay. Okay. Go. Good. That's still it's still very playable. Okay. From fifty feet. Would you say the shot tends to be quite flat? Is that natural? Um, yeah, I must admit, yeah, that is okay. quite a flat ball flight, yeah. Oh, that's diggy. Okay, interesting. Right, I'm going to swap you over. I'm going to give you exactly the same grind, but in 56 degree, okay? Oh, right, okay. So I want to see if taking loft away how you play that shot. Yeah, okay. Do we need the extra loft, okay? When you're doing that, I'm going to go and add loft, so a degree of loft to the wedge you've been trying, okay, okay. loft and line machine. I just want to see if adding a little bit of loft here, we're going to take a little bit of bounce as well. So one, it's going to make it come in a little bit higher and a little bit softer, which yeah. your shot's quite flat, so it may help. Yeah. And you're still getting that one, it's a wee hair heavy, so I just want to see if adding a degree of bounce saves us for Absolutely. that as well. Okay. All right? Yeah, yeah. Give me two minutes, I'll let you work with that. Excellent. Feels so much easier already, actually, just to get it that distance. Very interesting. Nice to be able to hit off some grass. Ha, ha, ha. 
We won't mention that one. We won't mention that one. We're both smiling at you. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we. Ah, uh, finally. So yeah, I can see why Scott would put me in that touch of six. Certainly, I've got more versatility there. I can still kind of get that ball up in the air. Good one. <laughs> Backed you up there. It was almost unbelievable. <laughs> Okay, so the shot. Okay, okay yeah. Degrees of bounce. Yes. <laughs> I've just added another degree. Okay, so yep. we're at 61 degrees with 13 degrees of bounce just now. So I'm yep. expecting trajectory to go up a little bit. Yeah. But the strike to improve significantly. Yeah, with a bit of luck. <laughs> yeah. I mean, like that was. So higher and softer. Like okay. So when you miss a green, can it be high? Can it be soft? Yeah, and I don't even feel the need to kind of manipulate that by any means to get that ball kind of. In the air like Nine times out of ten, if you're missing a green, we're missing it short side. It's not great. Yeah. It's how do we get up and down? And know what? Ultimately, if we can get to the fly high and soft, the ball stops a little bit quicker. We've yeah. got half a chance. Yeah. Okay. If you can chip it and get the stop within five yeah. yards rather than seven or eight, you know what? We're closer to the hole. You've got more chance of winning that putt. Okay. So, but a couple more, but I kind of like what that does, Ross. I like that, yeah. It's like nine that. and eight, isn't it? Yeah. We'll go longer through the red flag just to make sure we're still comfortable on a slightly slower yeah. shot. Actually, it's probably going to be a bit more confidence. Yeah, we've got you a lot can have a fuller shot. Yeah. I'm actually trying to knock this down a lot. Yeah. Do a low little kind of spinny one up myself. Yeah, like good. That. Go flight it to that flag for me. A little bit higher. Yeah, perfect. Good. Yeah. Okay, right, what do we come back inside just now? Same. All right. So where I'd go from here normally is what I'm going to do, I'm going to plug track a minute, yep. okay, so, yeah, so for me personally, 50 yards, yep. right, so when it comes to wedge fitting, I'm going to get somebody to hit their log wedge to start with, yep. what I want you to do is when you hit four or five shots, even just we'll take the, that red flag as a line, uh -huh. hit four or five, I just want a carry number, okay, and just yeah, hit okay. on the coach, yeah, yeah. Okay. because if you don't feel comfortable hitting a 90% log wedge, there's no point in basing gapping on a 90% log wedge, it's never going to work for us, alright? Seventy eight yards. Carry number seventy yards. Looks like we're shopping the yardages. Right, enough here for about fifteen minutes. We're fifteen minutes in. Just a little bit. Okay, a little bit short that time. Yeah. We're going to get Bruce to be the, the monkey next time, we'll make it easier, okay? So <laughs> we're averaging just under 70 yards. Yeah. Okay, right, what to do for me? Go and hit three or four pitching wedges. Well, we'll your wedge, side, yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. And then what we're going to do is we're going to see what this gap looks like. Okay, so this gap's going to be our way back. Let's see what it looks like. Normally I'd throw in some nine irons as well, potentially get you to hit some half shots yeah. and work out how you achieve certain numbers of that bottom eight hundred yards. I like hitting half shots, I don't. One more. Okay, so ballpark number around 130 yards, okay? Yep. So what we're looking at doing, we've got 70 yards to 130 yards, so we're needing to cut this a couple of times, okay? So for me, I think we're needing to look at a wedge that goes 110 yards, yep. and a wedge that goes around 90 yards. Yep. So that allows you to play pitching wedge, see if we can get 120 yards. Do you feel comfy enough taking yardage off pitching wedge? Yep. Because if pitching wedge for you is predominantly a full shot uh -huh. and you don't, you're not comfy taking yardage back off it yep. if you don't like playing that shot. Yep. So it's, do you have 120 yards in the locker with pitching wedge? Yep. Thanks, 
Okay, so taking yardage off, you know what, for some people that's great, and other people they're really comfy doing it and they're able to rein it back in a little bit, whereas for you, it's maybe not just as easy as that. Okay? That should be the actual thing, okay. but that should be the That was closer. That okay. Be okay. Yeah. Right, so even then we're still on the north side of it, okay? Yeah. So we're going to try in 52 degrees, I just want to see where we get to in relation. Right? Yeah. So it's, what, what kind of number do we get out of 52 degrees? That's massive. Yeah. Pretty good, yeah, it was a wee pull, but I was okay. still pretty really happy with that. Connection is okay. Okay, so 116, I can work with that. Yep. That was better, that one. Okay. Looks pretty similar to be fair in terms of ball speed. Yeah, good 116 again. Yep. Okay, so for me, I think. Is there any need to have a wedge that's any stronger than that? I would say no, that gives you 130 down to 115. Yeah. Okay, I want to make sure that these wedges are far enough apart. Okay, so what we're looking for is, can you hit something that carries 100 and 105 yards? A little bit off of it and rein it in. sense to why I would probably favour that than what I've actually got in my bag. But watching you hit shots, it, it looks like you're comfort in fuller shots. Aye. So why not give yourself the extra loft so if we're hitting half shots we can hit it higher and do what we need to do, yeah. but you're not having to take so much off all yeah. the time, if that makes sense. Absolutely. So I think for me, well I think if we're going to do a wedge fitting from full it would be slightly different, but for me personally I think 52 is a great starting block. Yeah. Okay? Same grind, we're going to go D grind in 56 degree wedge, yep. and I'm just going to get you hit a few. Okay, yep. so again, a full one's one. I think if this is a full shot, 100 yards is probably a good number, yep. I think, in terms of where we're at. I don't even think we need that. If we got 95, we wouldn't be upset. Very okay, yeah, I like that. Good, 95, good number. So it's allowing you to go at that 95 number and if your pin's tight to the front or over a bunker, whatever it needs to be, yeah. it's a full enough shot that you're generating enough spin so, that you can get it to stop. But as if 52, you're having to take that much off, you're yeah. losing spin. A little bit there, but again, okay. seems pretty controllable. Again, 97 yards. So yeah, like we have got half a chance. Okay? Yeah. So with that grind being shaved heel and toe, it should allow you to open that up and play a different shot as well, okay? So we know that 70 yards is maximum for log wedge unless it's an emergency. Yeah. Go hit this eight in the water. Oof. No pressure's on. Five. <laughs> it looks in control. Okay, so we're looking for 80 yards, then thereabouts. Okay. Oh. Go again for me. Bruce will get snorkel out and retrieve your ball for you. <laughs> short shot there's different ways to do it okay so yeah. to be log wedge yeah. okay so the yellow flag that we said before with 52 or what have we got in your hand just now 56, 56 in my hand, yeah. okay right so let's go 52 to start with yeah. okay so i want to get a position in terms of where we're at okay. it's always going to be that short-sided shot that lofts for friend yeah let's try and pitch us through the air 25 yards and i just want to show you on the track man how much that's going to release. Yep. Just to show you the benefit, of, there'll be a different type yeah, yeah, of yeah, a different wedge, yeah. alright? 25 yards at that yellow flag. Oh, oh that's flying. Yeah. Two, two minutes, maybe. Okay. Right, so carry 34 <laughs> yards. It's not heavy handed yet. Yeah. Okay, let's rein it back in a little bit. We'll get 
15-20 minutes doing this with you. It's interesting that you know, adding that little bit of loft it allows you to play a committed shot. Okay, there's 56 to play the same thing. So any kind of shot like that, it, it is not your shot. So let's play to your strengths, okay? That feels so much easier. Okay. So you're able to commit and have to your shot as you trap on the right yard as you ever spinning. So good off the face, and it's a lot of fun, but okay, oh, delightful. Good, okay, two more. Let's see if we can get carrying 25 minutes. <laughs> Brings a part of better than this. <laughs> That's it, some improves. Oh, there we go. That's got to be 25 yards. Okay, right. So, in terms of what we get, you know what, the strike itself's good. I'll take that. It carries 27, but in yeah. terms of release, it wants to then release six. Yeah, okay, let's swap you the log wedge. I just want you to get to hit three or four, and I just want to get an idea of how quickly this will stop. Okay, same target. Let's carry it to 25, and I want this. To oh, delightful. Okay. Yeah, I so in terms of what we get, you know what, Mr. Heavy Hand is, it carries 25 on the nose. Bingo. We all get lucky every now and again. But because it's wanting to spin and it's going to land steep, we'll show you that as well just now, it wants to stop within three yards. Okay, yep. so within nine feet of that ball catching the green, even if you're so short-sighted, that wants to stop really quickly, so you've got a chance. Yeah. It's not a case of playing to the back of the green and hopefully coming back. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so normally we're going to do a wedge fit and we maybe go out, we've got to the bunker and hit a few bunker shots. For some people, it'll be log wedges always out the bunker. It may be sand iron and no what. For some cases, a longer bunker shot might be 52 opened up. It's excellent, but that was a good little learning process and how important, obviously, the, you know, the, the feel for someone can determine generally what it would be in terms of spec wise. Rather than being told that's what you need, that's going to be right for you, it's actually working with the individual, giving them different, you know, obviously lies to use to be able to feel the difference in the bounces and the grinds, but without them actually being aware of what they've got in their hands. How often do you hit flop? If you get enough loft in your hand, yeah. you shouldn't have to hit a flop shot yeah. regular range shot. So yeah. it's really about the really grind if we need to, yeah. to get that flop shot play. Right. Alright? Yeah, very good. Cheers, Bruce. Thanks, nice Scott. Cheers, Bruce. Oh, that was good. That was really good, in fact. Take care.